Welcome back. Thank you for staying with the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. There were hundreds of faces in the crowds that assembled at the Cultural Center over the five days that the team from the USNS Naval ship offered free medical services to the St. Lucian public. On the final day of the medical mission, Tuesday, the 1st of October, the numbers had dwindled as it was an extended day by the team to cater to people who they had not been able to facilitate over the weekend. One very noticeable face at the clinic on Tuesday was that of Michael Chastney. Michael Chastney is a prominent businessman and father to the island's Prime Minister. He is full of praise for the USNS Naval Ship's medical mission to St. Lucia. Chastney himself took advantage of the opportunity to see the U.S. medical professionals for free. He says he was very impressed with the overall delivery of service at the makeshift clinic at the National Cultural Center. I thought it was very professional and very pleasant. I came here because <coughs> um, I've been having a, a neck problem and I've been around quite a bit and I thought I'd just like to get an opinion, which I got and what the, the suggestion was actually quite simple, a little massage, a little heat pad and that was fine. So I, I must say I was very impressed with what I saw, extremely impressed. Chastney says the controversy and concerns expressed from some quarters is neither here nor there. He dismisses it as mere propaganda. People will always criticize in life, but I would say the people have done a marvelous job. And what I'm seeing today is really fantastic. And I think um, it's a wonderful service given to the people who can't afford uh, proper medication because of whatever economic reasons or whatever the case may be. And um, I think the staff of the ministry must be commended for the organizational skills which took place today. The team from the USNS Naval Ship rounded up the medical mission on Tuesday, the 1st of October, after offering optometry, dental, surgical, and general health services to thousands of St. Lucians at both the OKEU Hospital and the National Cultural Center for five days. Many St. Lucians have expressed their satisfaction and appreciation for the initiative and say they hope the team will return sooner rather than later. The St. Lucia Labour Party is standing in solidarity for continued strengthening of the party. So says newly elected first deputy political leader Dr. Ernest Hilaire. He dispels rumors of a power struggle for leadership within the ranks of the SLP. Solange Alfred reports. The constitution of the St. Lucia Labour Party requires an election every three years to instate new deputy political leaders. The secret ballot election held on Saturday, September 28th, resulted in the election of Dr. Ernest Hilaire becoming first deputy political leader, while Sean Edward returned as second deputy political leader. Dr. Hilaire says his grooming within the party of more than 20 years of servitude has perfectly placed him in the position to do the party proud under his new designation. As the, the, the name implies, you're the deputy political leader, which means you assist the political leader in advancing the aims and objectives of the Central Labour Party. And in particular, in this present period, as we prepare for general elections, the role of the deputy political leaders become very important and we really have to provide that kind of support to the political leader to ensure that we can mobilize um, and we can inspire the electorate to, to vote for the San Lucia Labour Party and to ensure we win the next general elections. The Labour Party is gradually putting together a very solid grouping of persons to be candidates in the upcoming elections. We're working on establishing our policies, which we believe will excite solutions and inspire solutions. And of course, we put forward the leadership that we believe the electorate will be excited by and certainly put the confidence in the Solution Labour Party. So in many ways for me, um, I do it with a sense of honor and duty and humble by the responsibility that I've been given. Meanwhile, speculations of a political coup to oust the current political leader of the St. Lucia Labour Party, Philip J. Pierre, was fervently shot down by Dr. Hilaire, who reaffirms his commitment to SLP's political leadership and says he will not give rise to unsubstantiated speculation and conspiracies. Philip J. Pierre will be our leader at the next elections. And Philip J. Pierre will lead the Central Labour Party into victory. I really don't waste my time involving conspiracy theories. And, you know, there's always the mischief in politics and there's always the undermining and the, the attempt to create confusion. The Central Labour Party is solidifying itself 
Um, we grow it from strength to strength. And Philip Jepia is our leader, and he will lead us into victory, and he'll be the next Prime Minister of St. Lucia. I'm not engaging in any speculation or debate or I'm not giving any credence to the mischief in that. Dr. Hilaire details his rise within ranks of the St. Lucia Labour Party. He says the foundation set by the SLP allows for youth development in the political arena. It's a journey, I guess, that started, you know, many, many, many years ago, even before I was an 18-year-old eligible to vote. So it's really a sense of, of honor. In, in some ways, I'm a product of the St. Lucia Labour Party. Um, a few of us, you know, really started very young in the St. Lucia Labour Party and have grown up with the St. Lucia Labour Party. So it places on you a, a sense of responsibility. Um, it, it says to you that the Labour Party, um, in many ways, um, allow for you know, um, young people to come in and to flourish. Um, I'm ever grateful to the St. Lucia Labour Party for you know, nurturing me uh, with the social conscience that I have, the commitment I have to the marginalised and the disadvantaged. And of course, we live in an era now where the St. Lucia Labour Party you know, must be able to appeal to everyone uh, and to, to be the party of opportunity and to be the party for all the people of St. Lucia, not a few. Dr. Hilaire succeeds outgoing first deputy political leader Alva Baptiste, who he thanked for his dedication and leadership during his tenure as first deputy political leader for the St. Lucia Labour Party. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Solaj Alfred. 83-year-old grocery resident Cletus Hippolyte, also known as Banana Split, has been reported missing. Relatives of the missing man urge the public to notify family members or the nearest police station if he is spotted. One relative says Hippolyte was last seen on Friday the 27th of September in the Grosley area. We don't know how he was dressed and um, on the Friday, that was the last time he was seen. Um, yeah, generally we are listening with the police and we are um, going around looking, searching, going to the hospital, going through the world. That's, that's what we can do. Is there a, a general area that he usually frequents? Well, he would normally go to town, go to the lawyer, walk around in Grosley, go to canneries to check on land. But other than that, that's, that's it. Relatives say Hippolyte lives alone and this is the first time he has gone missing. Anyone with information can contact the Grosley Police Station or call 716-9054. Young St. Lucian musicians continue to excel in various genres both locally and internationally. A most recent addition to the list is 18-year-old Chaz from Babano. Building his social media following in excess of 20,000 people, the growing sensation further extended his reach into the international market by participating in the Shensia Blessed Challenge. He won and he spoke with the Hot 7 TV team. 18-year-old Chazzy Derivier, better known as Chaz, describes himself as the life of the party. The young musician has become somewhat of a social media sensation for his unconventional steel pan song covers of genres not traditionally associated with the instrument. After becoming a favorite on the entertainment scene in St. Lucia, Chaz has created an international social media buzz through his recent participation in the Blessed Challenge, hosted by Jamaican artist Shensia on her Instagram page. Chaz secured the top spot as the most liked video in the challenge, Hot 7 TV caught up with Chaz following his Instagram competition win. I said, you know, no negativity. I spoke it into existence. I said, Shensi is going to post my video. Literally five minutes later, she posted the video. Note, I was shaking for a whole hour. I mean, sure, <laughs> that Shensi here. So, yes. Then, posted the video. Got the support from my fan base. I don't like to see fans, my supporters. I got support from my supporters, the whole of St. Lucia. There was quite a rivalry because Shensia also posted another still pan video. St. Vincent versus St. Lucia. <laughs> Who came on top? St. Lucia, that's right. Chaz says just mere participation provided him with an invaluable opportunity. After facing off against established social media personalities, Chaz attributes his recent success to the support and the determination of the St. Lucian people. Firstly, just entering the competition was just a blessing. But when I found out that I won, 
Lord, <laughs> I stood, I stood in my house just shaking. Just, I was just shook. But it truly made me realize that I have the support. People truly admire what I do, and it's an inspiration to others. To be, to be honest, because like you said, they were established musicians, actually people that have fan bases larger than my actual likes. And that was just amazing. Just winning on a whole, that was a true blessing. The young musician says his success shows that there are many ways that the youth can utilize social media for good. Charles underscores that he has been able to network and build a career through social media from the age of 15. He encourages other youth to realize that in the age of technology, the world is a screen tap away. And with determination, any market can be conquered. For Hot 7 News, I am Jaco Wudu. You're watching the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Stay with us. There's more news coming up after the break.